assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to my youtube channel me academia i hope that you all are fine and doing well my this video is basically related with the pakistan studies p2 that is geography and in this video i'm going to discuss about the very first unit of our geography that is topography of pakistan before starting this one let me clarify this word topography over here which is basically the combination of two words that is topo which means the surface and graphy means study means the study of surface and mainly in this video i'm going to discuss about the topographic regions of pakistan because we have to study this chapter related with all these regions and there are certain factors over here which are basically interlinked and attached with these regions so let's see first of all that what regions we have over here in pakistan number 1 northern and northwestern mountains then we have western mountains kotra plateau salt range Balochistan Plateau, Indus Plain that is Upper and Lower Indus, which has been considered also as uh, Punjab and Sindh, and the desert regions. There are certain other uh, things which are basically interlinked with all these regions, but in this video I'm going to discuss only two things over here, which are major aspects related with all these regions. Number one over here we have relief, so we are going to discuss about the relief of all these regions. and secondly about the drainage of all these regions there are certain other things for example the economic potential of these regions the lifestyle of the people living over here so we will discuss that inshallah in the next video but my this video is mainly related with these i hope that this video would help you people to identify your location and to label your maps before i start these regions let me clarify a little introduction about that what are relief features and what are drainage When we talk about relief features, for example, we have highlands. Altitude means heights. Then steep slopes. There are certain slopes we have uniform, gentle, and steep. The rugged landscape, which are basically the irregular landscapes. Flat lands, for example, the plain areas, deep valleys. These are few examples that we have over here regarding the relief features. If we talk about the drainage, rainfall. and melting of glaciers these are the two sources or the factors behind the drainage system of pakistan here are a few pictures for the visualization this is the picture of a rain then a rugged landscape a melting snow or a deep valley so this is what we have as an introduction of relief feature and the drainage starting from the very first topographic region of pakistan mountain ranges related with the north and the northwestern as i said that i'm going to discuss about the relief and the drainage of all these regions so i'm going to discuss about the relief first of all and i'll move in order so here we have a map over here in the screen when we talk about the north and northwestern mountain ranges of pakistan for that let me have a laser point over here so that i could point out the places actually so let's start from the very first one if we talk about the northern mountain ranges karakoram range number 1 over here this is we have the first location please identify these location very carefully because you people are basically bound to attempt these questions when these questions comes into the paper so labeling is something which has been asked Number two, we have over here Himalaya range. This over here is basically the Himalayas, the complete Himalayas. It is basically stretches until the northern India as well. So there are certain other sub types of Himalayas. For example, the Greater Himalayas over here, this one. Then we have the Lesser Himalayas or the Outer Himalayas, and the last one we have Sivaliks. So these are over here. the sivalik please watch my pointer carefully because i'm going to show these locations over here on the map and this is how you people have to identify these location as well because later on we have to attempt it then if we talk about the north western areas so this is our north western direction over here and the mountain range we have over here is hindu kush so this is the location of hindu kush This is the relief that or the mountain ranges we have of north and northwestern. Moving forward, the drainage of these north and northwestern mountains. So here we have a map of rivers, starting from the very first thing. If we talk about Himalayas, 
then himalayas basically are the reason behind the eastern tributary tributaries of indus that is jhelum chenab ravi sutluj and bias which basically moves from northeast to southwest so these are the eastern tributaries you can see my point over here these are basically the one which originates from the himalayas and these are the eastern tributaries of indus and this is basically your indus you can watch it on the screen as well that is indus which is moving from north towards south and falling into the arabian sea passing from the upper and the lower indus plain the second region we have over here is karakram and that is the western tributaries of indus and river gilgit is basically the part of this tributary which basically obviously interlink with the indus and fall directly into the indus then we have hindukush as we discussed in the previous picture over here that is in the north uh, west area of pakistan and the major river over here or the drainage then we talk about is mastooj over here there, uh, there is written mastung that is basically mastooj not mastung that is a western tributary of indus so it is also something a river which is basically entering into the indus so this is we have regarding the drainage of the north and north western please do remember the locations of the rivers over here because this map would come again in the upcoming slide as well next one we have the western mountain ranges that is another topographic region so the first thing we have for the relief first of all that what are basically the identified identified re, uh, location of this uh, western mountain ranges number 1 safedko that is the location of safedko we have over here number 2 waziristan hills you can see that the highlighted areas over here in the boxes number 3 suleman range this is something you need to locate number 4 central baruhi range and uh, number 5 is the keith range and that is on the western side of the indus you could see that that is indus and all these are basically the western mountain ranges of pakistan so moving towards again the drainage related with that because we discussed about the relief of it now we are going to discuss about the drainage the same river over here but this time we are going to discuss about the western areas or the western mountain ranges related with the drainage of these mountain ranges number 1 when we talk about the safed ko range that we discussed in the previous uh, map over here then river kabul over here is basically coming from the safed ko range and falling into the indus if we talk about the waziristan hills then the kurram and tochi and gomal that is kurram that is gomal tochi is somewhere over here as well so these rivers are basically coming from the waziristan hills and falling into the indus river then we have the keethar range which is basically over here and uh, the hub river is basically coming from the keethar range but you could see that the location of this hub is over here and it is not falling into the indus it is directly falling into the arabian sea because when we talk about the sindh area indus is basically alone in this area and directly fall into the arabian sea so that is the location of our western mountain ranges and their drainage systems means the river locations when we talk about the next one potwar salt and salt range along with that the balochistan plateau i have uh, mentioned these two topographic regions over here because uh, i want to show you people first of all the exact location of the potwar and the balochistan plateau along with the salt range so if i talk about the potwar plateau let me move towards the map first of all as well because that uh, now it would be easier for you people to identify here you could see that the, that is the location of potwar plateau and right in the south of the potwar plateau we have the salt range this is your balochistan plateau and if i talk about the points over here for example if i talk about the drainage system of these mount of these plateaus or these ranges then if we talk about potwar plateau then river swan along with other small rivers is basically the part of drainage in potwar plateau if we talk about the salt range which is over here in the south of potwar plateau then the river interlinked related with the salt range is basically the saline the salty lakes for example kalar khar uh, which we basically experience when we move from uh, lahore to islamabad so kalar khar is one point basically we basically cross from that point as well and khabeki uh, lake as well which is in the northern side of it and there are certain other small rivers like the kyura river in the south portion of the salt range so the khabeki and kalar khar are in the northern part of salt range 
and the Kyura river or the other small rivers are basically are the southern portion of the salt range. These are the drainages. When we talk about the Balochistan plateau over here, here, then we talk about the Zoop river, which is in the north, Dasht in the south, and Hamune Mashkil is a lake which is in the central Balochistan. In this picture, uh, there is uh, one more picture over here that I attached to show you people the exact location of Hamune Mashkil. So here we have the exact location of Hamune Mashkil in the Balochistan plateau. And if your people are thinking about the Zoob River, which is in the north and uh, Dasht in the south, then I have shown you people over here in the previous diagram. That is Dasht, which is directly falling into the Arabian Sea, and that is Hub. That is Zob. This is the location of Zob. So these are basically the part of Blochistan Plateau. The drainage is related with the Blochistan Plateau. So this is we have related with the Porto Salt Range and the Blochistan Plateau. I hope that you people are identifying the locations clearly. Moving towards the next one, we have Indus Plain, that is Upper and Lower Indus Plain, which is Punjab and Sindh. That is uh, the relief now and drainage about this topographic region. So here we have the map. The green portion over here is basically the upper Indus, that is Punjab province. And this yellow portion only over here, which is in dotted lines, is basically the lower Indus Spain, which is Sindh. This portion that we have, a blank portion over here, is basically a desert area. We'll discuss about the desert in the upcoming slide. So let's see their relief, that what kind of an area is this, or what kind of a topography we have over here in the Indus Spain. These areas are basically flat and fertile because they are basically rich in agriculture because of the river tributaries over there. Eastern tributaries of Indus, Jhelum, Chenab, Ravi, Satluj and Bias. These are the part of Upper Indus. I am talking about Bias over here. Bias is not in this map. But let me tell you that Bias is a river which is basically the part of Satluj before entering into Pakistan. It enters into Satluj before enter over here. Moving next, Indus River moves alone in the lower Indus, that is Sindh, as I said that from here to onwards, from the southern Punjab till the Arabian Sea, the Indus move alone and obviously the width of the river over here is more as compared to the uh, upper portion. Then we have the Indus Delta in the lower Indus plain, that is Chatta. We will discuss about the Delta in detail later. Then Duabs. The Duabs basically the land between two rivers. So these are the river places and the central location over here the land between the, the any two rivers that has been declared as Duabs. And we also used to see the active and old flood plain along with the pit mount plains over here as well. We will discuss these definitions as well later. The last one we have is deserts. You could see the location over here regarding the deserts. For example, we have uh, the yellow portion over here which is basically one desert and the second, then a third one and the fourth one. So let's discuss about these one. Number one over here is Thal Desert, that is central Punjab between river Indus and Jhelum. That is Thal, where you could see the pointer. Number two, we have Thal Desert, which is basically divided into three. Cholistan, southern Punjab, this portion. Please watch the pointer carefully. Then Nara, eastern, Sindh, this portion. And Tharparkar, that is the southeastern Sindh, that is the third position over here regarding the third desert. Then we have Kharan, that is Kharan which is in Balochistan, western Balochistan. And the features, if we talk about the features of the deserts over here, because if we talk about drainage, then we know that desert have a very low rainfall. We are not saying that there is no rainfall over there, but a very low rainfall. But the features over here are the sand dunes, and this is how they look like. So this is it related with the locations and uh, the drainage of all the regions we have. And uh, these regions are basically the topographic regions of Pakistan. I hope that you people have seen all these locations carefully. And uh, I would request you people to kindly practice these locations with the help of this video. Identify these because it would help you people to have uh, a temptation of your papers when any kind of a map would come. Thank you so much. Uh, please subscribe the channel and like the video and do comment if you think that this video is useful. For the upcoming videos, keep watching. Khuda Hafiz.